Ever good night. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? A uh, wonderful. Really? Yeah. Very good. Are you alone? Yes, always. I mean, alone. So because I have done a kind of study here at home. I mean, this is a uh, well. It was a bedroom, but now it's a kind of a kind of a study, okay? A kind of a kind of room to study. I mean, that's why I'm alone here. So, but I always I live with my wife and my two daughters. What about you? Uh, a little tired because really? the traffic is terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Do you have to drive away too much? Uh, usually, uh, almost all day. I mean, uh, uh, but you are traveling. I mean, you are traveling by car. You are driving. You are drive. You are driving every single yeah. day from one place to yeah, another but, place. But only in the in, in the city. In the, ah, okay. In, in the in, in the city. metropolitan yeah. metropolitan area. Yeah. Yeah, the, the old days. The whole day you have to, All day, yeah. I mean, you have to drive. That's it. Joanna, good night, Joanna. Good night, teacher. How are you today, Joanna? Um. So so tired. ¿Cómo se dice más o menos? So so, more or less. Um, so so. Yeah. Salvador, welcome. America, welcome. Jorge, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hi, good night. Good night, Saira. I know what, what happened. Don't worry. Thank you to do your best. Fatima, welcome. America, welcome, America. I don't know if you are busy. If you are, if you are, still busy. Are, are, are you still busy, America? Are you still busy, America, or not? You are a kind of. Estaré presente en la clase, teacher. Ah, okay. Completely or just half? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you are busy. That's why. I, that's my question. If you are busy, maybe. Or you can be participating today or something like that. I mean, 
Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Creo que has malinterpretado esta situación. Claro que iba a hablar de esta cabaña. Incluso estaba dispuesto. That's a nice soap opera. The night's a nice. Está cayendo el agua. Fátima, welcome. So, Claribel, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, time to go for the attendance, girls and guys. Let me see. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Okay. Oh. America, Beatriz Garcia Herrera. Present teacher. Very good. Bernardo Javier Aquino. Diana Gabriela Martinez Escobar. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Pat Fátima del Carmen Pío de Hernández. Present. Flor Idalia Turcios Luna. Francisca Present. Yanira Arevalo Rodríguez. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Mauricio Alexander Majano Escobar. Nuria Elizabeth Nerio Vargas. Aris Abraham Rivera López. Rocío Katia Maritza Martínez Cubías. Ruth Joana Alvarado Gaitán. Present teacher. Zaira Vanessa Velázquez Quinteros. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you. Salvador Edgardo Escobar Vázquez. Present teacher. Sara Carolina Jiménez Flores. Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. Present teacher. Thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Nancy Guadalupe Erazo García. Soy la Claribel Rosales Bernal. Present. Thank you. Okay. Huh. Hello again. Welcome to PNIT, Pro Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo. It's an English, English National Program for Work. Today is our session number 19. Tomorrow is session number 20. Okay, it means that tomorrow is the last session of this module. And I have to remember to you first, if you have received the survey of INSAFOR on your email, please don't do your, don't, please don't do the survey, okay? Just you have to wait till we do together. That's the first thing. The second thing is if you, uh, if you have, I mean, you have to push, please, to your human resources department to send the documents because I think that tomorrow is the last day to reception the documents. That's why you have to say to your boss, to your coworker, to your friend, I don't know, I mean, or to the manager of the human resources department that they have to send the documentation to be in script and uh, <clears throat> in, in the next course, okay? That's it. After that, we have to go for the topic of today. The topic of today is, let me see. <laughs> Jesus. No, this is no. Let me see. <laughs> it's here. Okay. I don't know. You need four 
how to use can for informal request. Okay, yesterday we were studying could. Today we are gonna study can, okay, for informal requests. But uh, before we go to the class, I have a kind of, if you could see, could you see here? Beltran, Mr. Beltran. Okay. Hi, teacher. Ayúdenos a leer aquí en la esquina. ¿Puede leer aquí en la esquina de la presentación un pequeño uh, little joke? Yes, yes. Oh, un gringo. Ajá. Sí, sí un, un gringo. gringo. <laughs> un gringo. Hello, do you speak English? English. Do you speak English? Uh, you, yo automáticamente. No, I don't speak English. Sorry, el gringo is. <laughs> Comprenden? <laughs> Just to start, okay? Am I sorry I don't speak English? Okay, El Gringo, what about? I mean, you, you are telling me that you don't speak English, but you answer very well, okay? That's why, guys, you have to learn very well to speak English, okay? That's just a little joke to begin the class, okay? So, as I told you, we have to review the topic, yesterday topic. Yesterday topic was how to use could for formal requests, okay? And remember that we use could for polite and formal requests. Structure or structure, sorry, could plus subject plus verb, the base form plus complement. Examples, could you write these reports, please? Could you deliver these letters today, today, please? Okay. And again, we have to remember that making polite or formal requests, we have to use could. Could you please bring me more coffee? Okay, that's okay. And we use can for an informal request, permission or ability. Use could for a formal request. In this case, I am bored. Can I watch TV now? That's it. That was the yesterday topic, okay? I don't know if you have any question about yesterday's topic. No, no questions? Is everything clear? Yes. Yes, Fatima. Everybody says every, every, everything is clear. Okay, so let's gonna start a review and do it again, another request for me, okay? Hágame otra requisición a mí, okay? Yo voy a ser su empleado. Por favor, tráteme bien, amablemente, porque si no me le voy a correr, okay? <laughs> si no me le voy a correr. Ever, tráteme como su empleado, okay? Pídame algo del trabajo, no sé, I don't know. Could you bring me uh, the, the report sales or sales report? The what? The sales reports. Ah, okay. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Mr. Beltran. Um, could you send me the mail? Could you send me an email? Yes. Of course. Jorge Argueta. Teacher. Hi. Uh, si gusta, puedo hacerlo yo un momento, por favor. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Busy, guys. <laughs> Good. Fatima. Yes. Could you bring me some copies, please? Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, Joanna. Ahorita teacher, se había quedado. Don't worry. Could you order the lunch for the meetings 
please. Excellent, good. Puede ordenar los almuerzos para las reuniones. Very good, Joanna. I like it. I love that order. Very good. Big lunch. Almuerzos grandes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, Vanessa, dígame si puede participar o sigue ahí. Me dice no. After, I don't know, Vanessa. Uh, yes, teacher. Oh, okay. I could, I could answer the painting in May, please. Could you? Recuérdese. Could you? Uh, yes. Could you answer the painting in May, please? Yes, very good. Thank you, Vanessa. Muy bien. Y no le olvidó el please. Ya a usted le voy a hacer la orden <laughs> primero. <laughs> okay. Claribel Rosales. Teacher, could you clean my desk, please? Yes. <laughs> magic work, okay? You have to teach to the kids magic words. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Salvador okay. Edgardo. Could you organize the documents for the month, please? Exactly. Could you organize? Organize. Could you organize the documents for the month. Yeah. Okay. Could you organize? Very good. Very well. America. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. America. Um, deme, eh, voy a esperar para participar. Vaya, América, lo único es que ya no tenemos más para participar, pero está bien. <laughs> ok, América. That's ok, because today we, are, we have a little, a little attendance. Don't worry, América, thank you. Ok, guys, so then we, we are going to in advance to the topic, because well, we have time, and I think so that we are, we are going to have more time to do. Jorge, ready? Can you do it now? Ok, yeah. very good, Jorge. Uh, Could you cut the material, material, please? Again? Could you, um, no sé cómo se dice, cotizar, pero bien raro. No ah, what? 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 Exactly. What? Could you cut the exactly. material? Material. Please? Material, please. Materials. Es algo así. Who? Who? What? Algo así es más o menos. Ahorita le digo. Es what. Así se pronuncia. What. Ok. Aunque sé que la palabra es what. What. Eso es cotizar. Exacto. Aunque podría ser. Ajá, sí. Cot podría ser también esta. Podría ser la palabra could you make the quotation? Could you make the quotation, please? ¿Podrías hacer la cotización, por favor? Could you make the quotation, please? Flor, welcome, Flor. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good night. Could you make the quotation? That's the, the, the word. Okay, quote is the verb. Quotation is the noun. I mean, could you make the quotation, please? Flor, usted es mi jefa ahorita, puede darme una orden. Por favor, tráteme bien, si no me le corro. Eh, eh, era, ahí se me olvidó. Could era, ¿verdad? Así es. Sí. Could, could you, could you, how the many of traer? Bring. 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 Mm. Could you bring water for me, please? Yes, madam. Yes, ma'am. Bring. Yeah, okay. yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bring. Could you bring could you bring me some water, please? Yeah, that's it. Could you bring me some water, please? Sara, welcome. Thank you, Flor. Okay, teacher. Hi, hello, teacher. Hi. Voy entrando. Don't worry. <laughs> That, but we are we are still re reviewing yesterday's class. It means that you can give me an order now. Puede darme una orden ahorita. Um, 
could you grace the, the vapors, please? Could you? Right, right. 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 Write the reports. Could you write the reports, please? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, guys, again, that's the way to ask for the polite things, okay? Let's gonna let's gonna see what we have after. Hmm. Okay, we were here. Now we go by here. I have here some phrases. Veamos. Voy a decir la frase y usted me dice si es formal o informal, ¿ok? Jorge. You say formal or informal. Solo eso tiene que contestarme. Yo digo la frase y usted dice formal o informal. In English, it's formal or informal. Jorge, don't forget. Mm. Formal. Okay. Formal. Veamos. Sara. Hi, teacher. It's my opinion that. It's my opinion that. Formal or informal? It's my opinion that. Formal or informal? Yeah. Ah, um, informal. Okay, you say informal. Very good. Thank you. Flor. Está mal escrita, pero es you don't have to. You don't have to. Formal or informal. Solo eso tienen que contestar, niños. ¿Cuál diferencia? You don't have to. Informal. Ok. Ahorita usted guárdese qué es lo que dijo. Si quiere, anótelo a la frase que le di y guarde. Después vamos a decir cuál es cuál, ¿ok? Nice. Um, okay. We are guessing. Fátima. Yes. Fátima. Fátima. Thanks a lot. Formal. Formal. Very well. America. Yes, teacher. America, in light of the fact that. Uh, Formal. Okay, thank you. Ever the Jesus can dry. Yeah, teacher. It's not, it is not necessary for you to. Informal. Okay. Saúl Beltrán. Hi, teacher. Mm, we recommend... Formal. Okay, thank you. Joana. Hi, teacher. Joana, please accept our... Please accept our apologies. Don't cry, Joana. <laughs> Um, formal. Formal. Very good. Vanessa. I appreciate. I appreciate your assistance. Um, formal. Formal. Okay. Salvador, ya estuvo. No, verdad? No, teacher. 
Ok. Salvador. Mm -hmm. It is recommended. Formal. Formal. Ok. Thank you. Let me see. Claribel. Hi, teacher. Hi, Claribel. Claribel. <clears throat> Another good thing is formal teach. Formal, thank you. Let me see just that. Okay, everybody has participated? Yes. Todos participaron, me falta alguien? Yo no sé qué se han hecho los demás. Ah, los habré corrido ayer, ve. That's no problem. Okay. Just to know que hace formal e informal. Estos, they are things. But, solo para clarificar, aquí a este lado están todos los formales y aquí a este lado están todos los informales. <ríe> Nos copiaron bien en el examen, guys. De este lado, los más, como dicen, sin ánimo de, de nada, los más negritos, they are formal. Y los más chelitos, they are informal, ¿ok? <laughs> ok, it means that I would like to remind you that, to remind you that it's formal. Don't forget, it's informal. I appreciate your assistance, it's formal. Thanks a lot, it's informal. In light of the fact that it's formal because it's formal. It is my opinion that it's, it's formal, I think it's informal. It is necessary for me to, that is formal. I need to is informal. It is not necessary for you to, that is info, that is formal. Sorry, you don't have to, is informal. It is recommended, formal. We recommend is for, it's informal. Sorry, please accept our apologies for, that's formal. Sorry, is informal. Secondly, besides is formal, another good thing is, Informal. Teacher, how we can say that is formal or informal? Okay, again, there is there is no way to distinguish. The point is that the standard language is when you have to know uh, to who you are addressing to. I mean, to who you are addressing to. If you are addressing, as by example, to uh, to your friend, maybe you can say a su amigo o a su amiga, en el caso de Sara, que le dijera a Norita, le puede decir, don't forget, hey, no te olvides. ¿Ah? Pero, si es a alguien, digamos, es un subalterno suyo, usted le debería decir, me gustaría recordarle que. That's the difference. O sea, cuando digo polite o impolite, es lo mismo, digamos, la forma... Eh, Digamos que no es que esté mal la oración o la frase, sino que la forma más amable de decirlo es esta. I would like to remind you that. Me gustaría, me gustaría recordarle que. Por ejemplo, pongamos este, que cambie los precios. Por ejemplo, yo podría decir, don't forget to change the prices. No olvide cambiar los precios. Y está bien, pero es una forma muy, llamémosle así, Informal o no polite. Es diferente que decirle con una palmadita en la espalda, I would like to remind you that you have, that you have to change the prices. Me gustaría recordarle que tiene que cambiar los precios. Eso es lo que lo hace formal o informal. No es que esté malo el lenguaje, sino que es a polite way or an impolite way to say the things. That's the point. Ok. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué diría? Use cualquiera de las frases. Vamos a ir viendo uno por uno y veamos what would, you, what would you say. ¿Qué diría, por ejemplo, usando? Y una vez más, al igual que ayer, ¿a quién se lo diría? Ese es el punto. Porque como dije, si se lo está dejando, si se lo está diciendo a un chero, usted le puede decir así. Vaya, pongamos esta, por ejemplo, de aquí abajo. Usted a un chero le dice, hey, sorry, man, I mean, lo siento pero a una empresa o, a, o si está dirigiendo una carta a un jefe, por ejemplo, 
Usted dice, please accept our apologies for, por favor, acepten nuestras disculpas por la falta que tuvimos. Ah, no le va a decir, hey, no, me, olvidémoslo, ¿sabe qué? Lo siento, o sea, ¿me entiende? That's the point. That's why, I mean, we say that that is formal and the other one is informal. Okay? Because that's it. That's the way to say the things, formal or informal. It's the same with can and could. I mean, can is for informal. You can say the same things, okay? But when we when we say with can, it's because uh, we are saying in a in an informal way. I mean, that is like uh, I was telling you to a friend, to a buddy. I mean, but when you are referring to a boss, maybe to a a person who who you don't know too much, you have to say, okay, uh, you have to use the polite way. Okay, I'm gonna show you the slides again. And think one thing that you will tell to your boss. I mean, okay. Piensen una cosa que le gustaría decirle a su jefe. Y se lo va a decir de buena manera, obviamente, ¿verdad? I'm gonna start to share my screen. Okay. That's it. Uh-huh. Veamos, Sara. You are the first one on my screen. So sorry, Sara. <laughs> Culpe uh -huh. blame to the Zoom. Culpe uh -huh. al Zoom. Y si no sabe, usted ya conoce las palabras mágicas para preguntarme, teacher, what is the meaning of? What is the meaning of? Um, no, eh, ¿a quién se lo tengo que dirigir, teacher? A su uh, jefe. jefe o... eh, a su jefe, porque es más, más difícil hablarle a los jefes que a los cheros. <risa> Quizás eh, I, I appreciate it to... Assistant. Ah, I appreciate your assistance. Es assistant. como aprecio este, su ayuda. Uh -huh. Dígaselo a su jefe, pues imagínese que está su jefe enfrente y usted le va a decir eso. I, um... Y le dice, dear boss, querido jefe. Todavía no. o, le, o le dice Hechu, dicen que hay por ahí, ya ha oído la palabra Hechu. El Hechu. Ay, yo por el nombre. Come on, ok. Yo, Rafael, eh, se llama Rafa, mi jefe, y le digo, Rafa, I appreciate you assisting. I appreciate your assistance, ok, very good. Thank you, thank you, Sara, I appreciate your assistance. Very good. Ruth Joana Alvarado Gaitán. Ay. ¿A dónde? Dígame. Yo quiero traer. <laughs> Mande. Excelente. Um, dear, dear boss, please Excellent. accept for a uh, police for. Ajá. Please. Ajá. Lo que pasa, okay. sí, lo que pasa, este, Joana, que los que tienen puntos tienen que tener una idea. Eh, por ejemplo, si usted le diga, acepte nuestras disculpas por venir tarde, por ejemplo. Aunque, okay. o oh, por. Ajá. Por platicar mucho. Por Exacto, mucho. very well, muy bien, ajá. ¿Cómo sería? Uh, you say talking too much. Talking. Talking too much. Okay. Uh, dear boss, please accept or a police for the talking too much. Talking too much. Apologies. Talk apologies for talking the much. Talking too much. Talking too much. Exactly. Vaya, por favor, no vuelva a hacerlo, oye. Okay, sorry. Okay, ever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like to remind you that tomorrow we have a meeting for the uh, colocation. How do you say colocation in mes? 
Amor. Lo que pasa es que no sé a qué se refiere con colocación. Eh, me cumplimiento. Cumplimiento ah. de meta del mes. Ok, maybe for the, for the goals. Solo para eso. Para las metas. Uh -huh. For, uh, uh -huh. Accomplish goals sería. For the accomplishment of goals. Ok. Ok. Ok, thank you. Jorge. Ya lo hizo, ¿no? ¿Verdad? No. Ok. Um, could you come on one more or later, please? ¿A dónde está esa? A ver, hoy me está diciendo una nueva, pero perfecto. Vuélvalo a repetir, entonces. Um, es que tal vez lo estoy pronunciando más, pero could you... Uh, come out one more or later, please. No. Quizá. Podría salir una hora más luego, por favor. Ah, can you, uh, can you go out one more, one hour later, please? That's it. Could you go out? Yeah. Exacto. Entiendo, okay. Jorge. Aunque era de ocupar estas frases ahorita, ya después le voy a ir dando nuevas. Pero está bien, Jorge. Don't worry. Ok, thank you. Flor. Eh, sí. Eh, little boss, it is necessary for me that you help me and not only set me please. <laughs> y con el emoji de no sé si fue algo amable o un reclamo, pero está bien. Eh, las dos. That's okay, Flor. Thank you. Okay. That's okay, Flor. Es necesario, por favor, jefecito, que me ayude en lugar de solo decirme que lo haga, por favor. <laughs> My God. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, Flor, always. I'm going to remember the trunk also. Okay. Sara, ya estuvo, sí, verdad? Ah, okay, thank you. Mr. Beltrán, ya estuvo? No. No, teacher. Okay, do it, Mr. Beltrán. Uh, Uh, it's my opinion, Walter D. D. We are. ¿Cómo? Es como. Uh, it's, Vamos. It's my opinion, Walter D. We are. Es mi opinión, Walter, que estemos todos. Algo así, no sé. Ah. Are. It's my. It is my opinion, or it's my opinion that eh, que estemos todos. That. We have ah. to be all of us, maybe. Esa parte es difícil, que tenemos que estar todos. Okay. All of us, todos nosotros. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay. Okay. It is my opinion, pero está bien. Comprendo. <risa> Va, lo dijo de una forma amable, perfecto. Eso es lo mismo cuando usted quiere dar una idea. I think es como cuando se refiere a un amigo. Yo creo, en este caso, es, en mi opinión, creo que deberíamos estar todos. That's okay. Thank you, Mr. Beltrán. Miss Rosales. Teacher. Hi. How do you say interceder in English? Interceder. Yes. I think so that is intercess, but I want to see. Intercess. Uh -huh. Yeah, pero déjeme ver si estoy... Ajá. Uh -huh. No, es intercede. Intercede. Intercede, inter yeah. Ok, teacher. Ahí voy. Dear, <laughs> dear boss, could you intercede for a salary increase, please? Increase. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Could you okay. use it for an increase of salary? <laughs> it's necessary. Okay. Oh my God, guys. Okay, very good. Ever ya estuvo, ¿verdad? Yes. Thank you. Edgardo. Hi, teacher. Hi, Edgardo. Um... It is necessary for me that you help me with the management of the client. Excellent. Es necesario para, yo creo que es necesario para mí que me ayude con el manejo de los clientes. Very good, Salvador. I like it. America. Yes, uh -huh, America. It's necessary. Um... Ah, perdón, perdón. It's my opinion that check the report. It's my opinion that you have to check the report. Okay. Okay, it is my opinion that you have to check the report. Yeah. I mean, so is somebody missing? No. No. Me oh too, my God. Ah, Fatima. Sorry, Fatima. Hoy hay pocos y no miro. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Fatima. We go now. Es que se me, lo, me lo mueve el Zoom. Vaya, Fatima. Okay, so sorry, Fatima. Don't worry. I would like to remind you that tomorrow mm -hmm. I will be late at, at, at the office because okay. I have the, the appointment for the bus, for the vaccine. Okay, very good. Thank you. Very good. That is a good sentence, okay? So guys, that is the way to say, I mean, the, to be formal, it's, uh, it's a way to, to refer, I mean. But now we're gonna see how do we have to use can, okay? Let me see, let me see, okay. Can, okay. Can is used for informal requests and also for ability. Also, they have a structure, okay? And the structure is always, I can, you can, he can, she can, it can, we can, you can, and they can. The full form of negative is, I cannot. And the short form is, I can't, okay? The interrogative is, can I? Y aquí es en donde nos vamos a centrar. Porque, por ejemplo, cuando me decía, <clears throat> Por ejemplo, digamos, yo le puedo decir a alguien eh, que no conozco, digamos, que llega a mi oficina. Could you sit down, please? Podría sentarse, por favor. Pero podría decirle a alguien que llega a mi oficina y que es un chero. Hey, puedes sentarte. O algo así como, can you sit down? ¿Cuál es la diferencia, una vez más, entre would y could? No hay realmente ninguna. De hecho, yo la estaba estudiando. Y decía que would es cuando nos piden, cuando nosotros tenemos una petición de me encantaría, pero no está fija que lo podemos hacer. O sea, me encantaría que, pero no sabemos si lo va a hacer o no va a hacer. Could es me encantaría. Que lo hiciera es como hacerlo. ¿Ah? Yes. <ríe> yes, Clary. <ríe> yes, yes, yes. Ok. Yes, I mean, that's why we have, I mean, we have confidence. Tenemos confianza. Cuando tenemos confianza con la, perdóneme la expresión, como dicen por ahí, con la brosa, con, 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 con la va, o tengan confianza con, con las personas, ya usas el can, because can is for informal requests. Ok, la estructura, si ustedes ven en todos los modales, casi es la misma. Para la afirmativa, primero lleva el I, Luego el verbo can y luego el complemento. En la negativa, we have first the subject after can plus not. And the short form is I can. And interrogative is can I? Uh, can I? And that's it. Let me see. We go for the next. Look at here. Okay. I cannot breathe. Let me see. 
Okay, good, because I did. Both can and could I use to ask for permission and also request something. Can is more informal one, which is used when we are talking to our friends, relatives, or acquaintances. However, when talking to strangers, we can use could to ask for permission or request politely. Example, Amy Oibos. Okay, Amy Oibos, can you hear me? Uh, o me oyen, o me oyen, me oyen ustedes, pero porque les tengo confianza. As soon as I reach home, uh, I could hear the noise of the party, okay? Tan pronto como llegué a casa, pude oír el ruido de la fiesta. Okay. And that's the difference. Okay, no, that's not. That's the uses of can. Okay. And also we have here the first slide that it says that can is used to ask informal requests. Vea que es lo mismo. Si usted ve acá. Si usted ve acá, es la misma oración. Mire. Could you write this report, please? Can you write this report, please? Could you deliver this letter today, please? Can you help deliver this letter, please? ¿Ah? O sea, en realidad la oración es la misma. ¿Qué es lo que cambia? Aquí el verbo que could es más formal y can es más informal. That's the difference. There are no, I mean, there are no more discussion about when do we have to use could or can. Como lo hicimos ahorita en el ejercicio, podemos decir que usamos could cuando me refiero. Y vuelvo a decirlo, voy a borrar los dibujos. Voy a leer una vez más. Again, here. Uh -huh. Hi. What is mean? Acquaintances. <laughs> Acquaintances. Uh -huh. Let me see. I don't, I know what is, what is it, but I don't remember how, how I can, I mean, how can I explain to you in Spanish? Yeah. In Spanish. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es un conocido o conocida. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es que vaya. Talking to our friends, amigos, relatives, son parientes. Mm. Ajá. Acquaintances es eh, familiaridad. O sea, no es su familia, pero es un conocido. O sea, mm -hmm. lo trata con familiaridad. Ah, okay. Lo trata con familiaridad, pero no, no, no es familia, yeah. pero es un conocido. Conocido, pues. Ok. Ok, thank you. That's it. Okay, as I was explaining to you, I mean, let me see. So, I said that is, we can use could for ask permission and request politely. And we use can, can is more informal. Okay, but we were, I'm gonna close here. Can is more informal. Okay. Look at here again. Look at here. We use can for an informal request. Informal way to ask something? Can. A formal way to ask something? Could. That's the difference. Preguntas hasta acá, niños. Questions here, guys? No, no teacher, clear. Okay. So, if we don't have any question, we can go to the, let me see. <laughs> this. We can start to work on. Let me see. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna project this page. I mean, what are what are we gonna do? Mm -hmm. But let's gonna work on page 44 on your manual, okay? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a trabajar en la página 44 de nuestro manual. We are gonna work on page 44, 44 on our manual. ¿Quiere que lo vuelva a mandar? O si alguien tiene la captura de pantalla de la página 44, súbala también a la... a la... I mean, to the... to the WhatsApp group, okay? What do we have to do? We have to read and we have to answer the questions, okay? Vamos a tener hasta más o menos las 9, 9.25. Pero a las 9 lo voy a sacar de los... Eh, de los breakout rooms because we have to go for the attendance. Do you understand? Yes. Teacher. Ay. Página 44 dice. Sí. La voy a proyectar acá, Jorge. Es esta, mire. Permítame que. Es esta. Es esta. Reading. Y obviamente tiene que contestar estas preguntas, ¿ok? Bueno, vamos a hacer los grupos. Que ahorita there are not too much to supervise. Vamos a hacer de tres los grupos. Oh my God. In one is going to be of four, I think so. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh. Okay. You have been invited to work on page 44, okay? A las nueve lo saco para la lista y luego continuamos. The first for um, uh, write the letter, no, page 40, 44. Yes, page 44. Somebody, somebody says, Saul, you have? Uh, eh, no tengo la página, estoy buscando. Acá, el... Ahorita have. se las puedo compartir yo, pero no sé qué harían después. Okay, we are going to read. First, we are going to read to the paragraphs and next to answer to the questions. Yes, that's it. The paragraph. You have to read the paragraphs. The, par the paragraph. Okay. Yeah. And after you have to answer the question. Okay. I I I read the first for color. Okay. Color color is important. Yes, you have to read, and after you have to answer the questions, okay? Okay, I will. I will read the first. Is yours? Is that where? In 
most inexpensive brighten. Pro, okay, no puedo decir. Provide, provide, ¿sí? Provide. 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 Printers provide. Printers, ajá, uh, printers. Resolution. No, no, estoy, no sé. Ah, estoy Resolution. Ahí. Most inexpensive. Dice, color is important for users who need to print pages for presentation or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be said to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridge, one color and one black ink. That needs to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for colors and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution, printer resolution, the sharpness of, of text and images on paper usually measure in dots per inch, DPA, most expensive printer provide, yeah, sorry, provide. Provide. Provide, provide. sufficient. Okay, yeah. okay. thank you. Tish. For most as Ads. Ads. Ahí. Te sientes, teacher? 600. 600. 600. Vaya. Jorge. Okay. If, if you do much print, the speed of, of the printer becomes important inexpressive printer print on the last one memory, memory. is memory america que no termino de abrir la paginita como estoy en el teléfono quiero ver ahorita sería The last one, the memory. La, la de memory. Yeah. Yeah. Only, only read. Memory. Most printer from white has more amount of memory. For example, one megabyte. Uh, for example, one mega, megabyte. That can be painted by the user having more that the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster and faster with printing of page or page while large in machine. Yeah. <laughs> what about? I am translating. I am translating. To... I, am translating. I see that you are yeah. translating. <laughs> yes, because they, they want to understand what is the meaning what of are it. They re what are Quality. they reading? Yeah. Okay. No, but now they, they have to read after we are going to discuss. We, but, yeah, okay. but I mean, you don't have to translate. Where are you translating or which word do you need to understand? The, the, the characteristics of the color or the... In the first paragraph. Yes. Uh -huh. We read, first we read in English and after that... Color is important for users who need it. to print pages for presentations, okay? That's it clear. Uh -huh. El color yeah. es importante para los usuarios que necesitan imprimir páginas para presentaciones or maps in other pages o mapas en otras páginas where color is part of the information donde el color es parte de la información mm -hmm. ok color printers can also be set to print only in black and white ok las impresoras pueden ser puestas solo para imprimir blanco y negro color okay. printers are more expensive to operate son más caras de manejar since they used to in cartridges desde que usan dos cartuchos de colores uno blanco uno de color perdón y uno blanco y uno blanco y uno negro sorry 
que necesitan ser reemplazados después de cierto número de páginas. Los usuarios, quienes no tienen específicas necesidades de color y quienes imprimen un montón de páginas pueden llenar estas necesidades solo con blanco y negro. Impresoras más baratas de operar o más baratas de trabajar. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Ok, Flor. Entonces sería because. Because. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Because. Oh. Because oh. I love you. Adolfo, te habla tu abuelita. Oh my God. The granny. Granny. Granny is calling me. <laughs> Baby Yang. Yeah, Granny. What? Me trae la, la, el teléfono, <laughs> Because oh, it cannot no work. Me Granny's me. calling us. Uh -huh. Why? Because? Because, because for users who need to print page uh -huh. for mm -hmm. presentation or maps and exactly. other things where color is part of information. Exactly. Ahí vea. Okay. Tráigame yes. el teléfono, por favor. Because. Tráigame el teléfono. No lo estoy ocupando, hijo. No estoy ocupando. Yo sé. Ajá. Jorge, ya se ubicó. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, pero. Okay. It's in the first paragraph. Jorge. Uh -huh. Lo tradice. Voy a detener does... ahorita las sesiones porque vamos ah, okay. a ir a pasar lista, niños. Ok, ok. And after we come back. Ok. Today is the day with less students that I have had. I never have had this quantity of students here in these courses. I think so that I just have 10, the half of the students. Paris ahora estaba cumpliendo años, teacher, pero desde ayer ya no contestó. After class, go to the, uh -huh. go to the party. Also, mm -hmm. Vicky's, also Vicky's son is on birthday today, I think so. He, mm -hmm. and, but I don't know. Well, at least day two. I don't know what happened to Yaniras, by example. I don't know, mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to Rocio, to Rocio that she never she never misses a, she never misses a classes. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Mr. Mahano. I bet. I don't know what happened, but well, just then I have to go with the attendance, okay? Leonardo Javier Aquino, Diana Gabriela Martinez Escobar, Flor Idalia Turcios Luna. Present teacher. Very good. Francisca Yanir Arevalo Rodriguez. Mauricio Alexander Majano Escobar. Nuria Elizabeth Nerio Vargas, Aris Abraham Rivera López, Rocío Katia Maritza Martínez Cubías, Sara Carolina Jiménez Flores. Present teacher. Vicky Dinorra Gutiérrez de Durán y Yancy Guadalupe Erazo García. I don't know what happened uh -huh. with Yancy Nuria. Uh -huh. Nuria estaba enfermita ayer. Really? Uh -huh. Oh my God. Okay, so sorry. We go again to the breakout rooms. Okay, guys, just I get out to go for the attendance. But okay. why we are going to start again, you have to continue. Okay. Okay. You have been, you have been invited to the breakout rooms. Okay.
refer for resolution. For, yeah, I think to refer to, for the re, the resolution. The That's resolution. Some, yeah. Because in the second resolution, printed resolution, there is sharpness of next and image in, image on paper is usually measured. Is done to print BPA. Max inexpensive printer provides surface sufficient resolution for most purpose of 600 dpa i think i think for the print This is the minute for the PD. What do you say, siglas, yeah. teacher? Because this is- Siglas, a... in English, siglas. they are like something like acronyms. Acronyms, this DPA, this has acronym for the resolution or for the capacity for the printer, I think. DPA, yeah, is a, is DPA. <laughs> the classic DPA meaning. Yeah, it's dots per inch. That is the same. Dots per inch. It's a measure of resolution printed document. O sea, es como los puntos por pulgada. ¿Cómo le conocen en español? Pixeles. Pixeles, pixeles. Exacto, los pixeles. That's DPA. Pixeles. Uh -huh. And um, maybe we we will answer to the second question and uh, DPA referred to the resolution for the printer or some something like that. What does DPA or... stand for? What does DPA stand for? Time. Uh, what does DPA stand for? What does DPA stand for? Mm -hmm. Maybe that provide sufficient resolution. Maybe. Yeah. Or, provide or sufficient with... resolution. O sea que lo que está diciendo en realidad es eso, la resolución. Las impresoras con una resolución más, eh, como es, más fino, por ejemplo, el texto y las imágenes en papel son, o sea, la fineza o la, ¿cómo le puedo decir? I don't know the word in Spanish, I mean, como la exactitud del texto, de charmes, es como la exactitud del texto es, usual, es usualmente medida en dots per inch, that is DPA. Las impresoras más caras proveen suficiente, o sea, prove, las, las, ajá, proveen suficiente resolución para muchos propósitos. Por ejemplo, los diseñadores gráficos necesitan impresoras de alta resolución. Eso es. Entonces, ¿para qué se What does DPA stand for? Maybe because they provide better resolution. And we start to, to, to put maybe the, the word maybe in, in the answer to the question. Maybe. Yeah, you can use it. If you want, you can use it. Don't worry. Okay. Pero que entiendo como can be expended by, what? by the user. What? Ah, uh, we are we are reading the characteristic of memory. Ah, the characteristics of memories, or what do you understand for? I'm trying to understand it. The text. Yes. But you can help us to understand. So tell me. All, <laughs> all the characteristics. All the characteristics. 
all the characteristics of the text. Yes. Or, or a, a, like a summary. Just to like a summary. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Solo déjeme ver algo. Ahorita. Okay, sorry, the summary of characteristics. Let me see, let me see. No, 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 we got, okay. Characteristic resolution, speed or memory, which one? Resolution. La resolución de las impresoras es para la exactitud del texto, las imágenes usualmente medidas en puntos por pulgada. Las más caras proveen suficiente resolución para múltiples propósitos o para la mayoría de propósitos que son de 600, 600 megapíxeles o DPI, that's per inch. La velocidad, mm -hmm. si usted hace demasiadas impresiones, la velocidad de la impresora viene a ser importante. Las impresoras eh, que son que no son muy baratas, no, inexpensive, ah, no, son inexpensive, ajá, que no son muy caras, son solo acerca de 3 a 6 páginas por minuto. Y las impresoras de color son aún más lentas. Las más caras son mucho más rápidas. La memoria, muchas de las impresoras vienen con una pequeña cantidad de memoria. Por ejemplo, un megabyte that can be expanded, puede ser expandido por los usuarios. Teniendo esto más del mínimo de la cantidad necesaria es que es helpful, es como, se me olvidado cuál es la translation, es como útil, sorry, y es útil y rápido cuando imprimimos páginas con imágenes largas o tablas con líneas acerca de ellas, lo que igual hace que las impresoras las traten, traten mejor una imagen o traten una imagen más larga, o I mean, ajá, uh -huh, which the printer treats as a large image que hace que las impresoras las traten como una imagen larga. That's it, okay. girls. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok. We will answer the question. Veamos. Flor, Joana, eh, what do you think about the first question? Why is color important for some users? It's black and white. Why is color important for some users? ¿Por qué dice es importante el color para algunos usuarios? Ah, you, can, you can see the answer in the first... Parografía. In the first... Uh -huh. In the answer we put in, it's more expensive, it's more expensive because the printer or the printer needs uh, two or three cartridges. Two, two, two in cartridge. 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 Yeah. The printer needs two or three cartridges. Cartridge. Okay. The next one is um, what is something important important for someone who a lot. Es algo importante, important. Eso seis por minuto. Printer speed is, imp is important. Yes. Yes, this is okay. Yes, it is. Perfecto. Is printer speed important? Es importante la velocidad de la impresora? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Yes, please. 
Printer speed. Speed is important. Number four. Important that other. Salvador y América están here also, no? I teach or no, Salvador is here. America also, I think so that now is here. She doesn't answer. Maybe she has to stand up. Estoy teacher, pero, ah, okay. Pero no entiendo mucho, entonces solo estoy oyendo. <laughs> you are a listener. Okay. Now you have to read and after you have to answer. Okay. Ever is going to help you. Okay. America is here. Uh, ah, okay. I see it. Okay. About, about this uh, question, I think. Uh, the only pair of things is important for the people of the print a lot for the resolution and the color is important for uh, the percent the presentation uh, part for the manager Algo así que es importante para la presentación de los managers. Ok. Mm, uh, ¿Qué va a decir? Dice teacher, teacher. Teacher is coming. Uh -huh. Tell me. Teacher, we need your support with the answer of question number two, teacher. What it says? I'm not sure. What does DPI stand for? At six. 100 DPI. This is the DPI is the in English is como los pixeles. Aha. But como what is the pixel. meaning of stand oh. for? Stand for. Mm -hmm. Ahorita. Oh no, aquí lo tengo. Wait. It says why does DPA, DPI, yeah, so DPI stand for. ¿Por qué algo así como que, por qué algo así como que, por qué son necesarios? Uh, o, ¿O para qué sirven? Ajá. Los pixeles sería como la calidad de la imagen. Exactly, but there is in the reading. Ahí está en la lectura que dice, ajá. That's it. Joana, ajá. But in English, what it says. Veamos cómo voy a compartir con ustedes. Ok. Vamos. Comparto. La, la resolución es de 600. Exactly. So, why DPA is a stand for? Because maybe they provide sufficient resolution for most purposes. Vale. Okay. They provide they provide vale. sufficient resolution for most purposes. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. <gasps> what about no, no, no. <laughs> no, okay. I remember that. Number I remember. Three. Una pequeña. Hi. No, pero aquí las impresoras. Sí. Ajá. <laughs> No tiene memoria en gigabit de la, o, o, o ah, las, megabyte. A las que se refiere esta sí, hay algunas que tienen memoria ah, en gigabyte. One megabyte, ok. Eso es lo que tenían algunas. O ya un megabyte no es, pero mm. solo no, tiene no, no, 15 megabytes. Uh -huh. De hecho, que si se recordarán ustedes, a I mí mean, habían unas, eh, ajá, acaba de, de, ajá, habían, por ejemplo, las primeras memorias salían de cabal de, de un giga, de dos giga, luego ya aparecieron las de cuatro, las de ocho, las de dieciséis, las de treinta y dos, y lo mismo los teléfonos, entonces las impresoras también traían ese tipo de memoria, 
porque uh -huh. dejan a veces las impresiones en, 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 en espera y tienen memoria. Un megabyte es como de los años 90. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. For example, that is, that, that's it. That this is the, the, the answer for this question. Uh, maybe, or oh, what is the amount of memory? Uh, we, can, we can say the answer uh, the most, or oh, usually we can what is find. What the amount of memory that most printer come with? Uh huh. Uh, usually, uh, some printer have a megabyte. One? How much? One one megabyte? Yeah, that's it. That's the reading. Of, it's according to the reading. Yeah. Yeah, that's the answer. Eso era en los años 90, mentira, ¿sabes? Por el 2000. Un megabyte era toda una vida. Hoy un megabyte es... No. Nothing. Nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. Imagine just Gmail gives you 50, 15, yeah, 15, 15 megabytes, just Gmail. 15 megabytes? Yeah, just you have. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And I think so that now exists terabytes, que son, no sé, si 100, si 100 o 1000 gig, gigabytes, un terabyte, y todavía mm. ya hay teraflops. Son 1000. Va que sí, va. Son yeah. mil. Ajá. Y creo que ya hay teraflops, ¿verdad, Salvador? Yeah. Teraflops. Teraflops. Yeah. How, 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 how many gigas? I don't know. I think so one, that they are. One million. It's, no, I don't know. They are como 100, 100, o sea, 100 creo que son, son, yeah. son, tierra, 100, 100, 100 tera, terabytes. 100 terabytes, oh. Sí. Ya trabaja como una nube. No, oh, más todavía. Más que una nube, ajá. Casi pareciéndole al cerebro. Ya, yeah, ok. Uh, ok, teacher, that's it. Finish, ok. So, Finish. just wait. Pregúntense entre ustedes las preguntas en dos minutos y ya, ya nos vamos a ir otra vez fuera. La diferencia dice de memoria y lo demás no sé qué dice. Ajá. Memory. Memory. Ajá. Ah, ok. Let's see the chart de Las paragraphs. Yes. Let's read. Amigo. Yes, Joanna. One megabyte. Yes. One megabyte. Yeah. The most of the printers. Pero eso era ya en los años 90, niñas. Hoy un megabyte no es nada. Okay. Un megabyte es... Eran los tiempos. No sé si ustedes se acuerdan que uno dejaba el teléfono colgado, descolgado, y nadie podía hacer una llamada para bajar algo. <risa> dejabas hasta 24 horas para bajar algo sí, si alguien no, llamaba por no, no. teléfono la regaba y era carísimo el internet ahora también teche. fíjese que no este Flor, o sea realmente sí es caro con relación a lo que vemos pero realmente Entonces, es barato porque como le digo si usted habla de los años 95 98 por ejemplo de verdad, uh, exacto, bajar una canción o bajar algo, de verdad puede ver, o sea, había que quedarse, de dejar, dejar descolgado todo, el te, todo a la noche el teléfono para bajar algo así. Mejor la grababa cuando salía en la radio. Sí, <risa> pero como por ejemplo, habían canciones que todavía no las tenían las radios por los derechos. Y eso entre otros, digamos que lo que hoy puede tardarle tres horas bajar una película en aquellos años le hubiera tardado quizás unos tres o cuatro días bueno. y la cuenta era carísima aparte de eso este, digamos que se hacía por el teléfono 
Y si a alguien se le olvidaba que usted estaba bajando algo e iba a hablar por teléfono, le desconectaba el teléfono, hacía la llamada y usted tenía que volver a empezar el proceso. Ay, no. Ya. Yeah. That's it. Qué feo. Have you finished? Pregúntense entre ustedes las preguntas. Ya nos vamos a salir. Don't worry. Three. Um, Okay, guys, you have been reading the reading. I'm gonna share my screen about the reading and I'm gonna <clears throat> read the reading and I'm gonna, <clears throat> you have to listen to it and after I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer the questions, okay? Okay, read about printer qualities and answer the questions below, okay? Well, color. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they used to in cartridges. One color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Printer resolution, the sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in dots per inch, DPI, yeah. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 dpi speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. <clears throat> More expensive printers are much faster. Memory, most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte. That can be expanded to the use by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when, when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which printer treats as a large image. Why is color important for some user? Maybe because they need to print pages for presentation or maps, okay? That could be the possible answer. What does DPA stand for? So DPA stands for about the resolution, okay? Because it provides sufficient, sufficient resolution for most purposes. Why are color printer more expensive? 
maybe because they used to in cartridge to operate that they need to be replaced, okay? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? Maybe the speed could be, or maybe the memory. That is, it could be both. Or maybe I don't know if we if he prints or she prints to color. What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? One megabyte. Okay, guys. I have another page for you to participate. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hey, teacher, don't speak. Okay, we are gonna speak now. I'm gonna send it to you another another page in which you can work. Oh my God, no, no, no. In which you can answer. Vanessa, again, welcome. That's it. Okay, in that page, you have to distinguish when do we have to use and look at here, polite, informal, polite, informal, informal. You can use both, okay? Both uh, would, remember, but oh, sorry, could. Remember, polite request, could. Informal request, can, okay? That's the, that you have to do. And try to do it orally. Trate de hacerles, trate de hacerlas oralmente, okay? En la primera, por ejemplo, I want to have some coffee. Y recuérdense que es lo mismo que ayer, que el want ya no va. No me voy a poner could I want, sino es una polite request. Could I have some coffee? ¿Podría tener o podría darme un café? That's the point. Okay, formal or informal. So we go for the groups. Polite or informal, okay. Yeah, For this one, remember uh, that the formal, that the informal has to write down please because formal. it's too much formal, okay. Informal. Could I have some okay. coffee please, as my example. Uh, it's different, okay. okay. Is it will, will no, I have to- Could or would, no. could or can, would. sorry. Could or can. Is would. No, could. Is could or can. Exactly. Can I, in the first, you say, can I have to? No, no can I? because it's a polite request. Polite, polite. Ah, could. Exactly. Could I to have some coffee or could I? Uh-huh, could I have? Could I have? Exactly. Okay. Could I have some coffee or could, could I have? A, yeah, could I have some coffee? A That's cup, it. A cup could of I coffee. Have, uh -huh. Could I have a cup of coffee also? I mean. Both are valid. Second, could, I, could I sit here? Could I sit here? Ajá, trate de hacerlas, hombre. Si no se las voy a dar todas. Don't worry. Oh, come on. Vamos, pregúntensela entre ustedes. Ay, 
Teacher is here. Do you need any help? Would I want to have some coffee? Come Teacher, we can add please at the end. Yeah, so, but it depends if it's formal or informal, polite or unpolite. It's a polite request. Uh huh. It will be a formal, right? Could, yeah, could, polite could request I want is to formal. Have a, yeah, exactly. Could I, could I want to have some coffee, please? Could I come ah, But this is not a question, teacher. This is a, just a, an ex a request, not a question, right? It's, no, but it's a, re a request is a question. Uh, you have the sentence oh. as a sentence. Okay, polite request, ah, I, I want to have some it. coffee. You have to change in a polite request. Could I want request. to have some coffee, please? Could I have, no, oh. could I want, no. Could I have? Could I want, sorry. Could, could I, I want? have? No, could ah, I could want? I no. have. Could I have? Yeah, that's good. Could I yeah. have some coffee? Yes. Please? Yes. Oh, okay. Podría tener o podría darme un café, por favor? Could I have some coffee, please? Okay. Flor, con. La vamos a pasar como educar. Sería el could you. Exactly. Could you or could I? No, both could are I. valid. Ah, okay. okay. Pero es, could okay. I have some coffee, please? ¿Podría regalarme o podría darme un café? Could I have some mm -hmm. coffee, please? Okay. Las mm -hmm. que son polite. ¿Cómo es polite? Y las informal, ¿qué van a llevar? Can. Can. Exacto, can. como le diría, can. Ajá. Can. ¿Dónde está informal? Ah, aquí está. For. For. Can I. No. No, can you, you to pick exactly. up the children. Exacto. Can you to pick up the children. Can you pick up. Yeah. Can you pick up. Yeah. Can El you pick up. El tú no. Porque okay. se lo quita el. El can. Can you pick up the children? Así como lo okay. manda, usted puede ir a recoger los niños, pero no de informal, uh, o sea, es más okay. una informal. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, dice, thank you. Vaya, niños. Can I is. I can. I can you pick, pick up the children? Yeah, can you pick up the children? Hello, teacher. Good night. Hi, Diana. Diana Wilson. Good night. People. We are working on the page that I have sent to the what? Okay, estamos trabajando en la página que acabo de enviar al WhatsApp. You can open and they can explain to you what, what are we doing. Okay, the, the first, the first is... I I could, I could want to sit here. No. Could I? Exactly, could I. Y quítele el uh, want. Could I, could to sit here. ¿Y por qué me le puso could otra vez? Ay, teacher, tengo sueño. Ah, por eso es más. <laa> <laughs> Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría? ¿Cómo could quedaría, Joana? Could I sit here? Could I sit here, please? That's it. That's it. Could I sit here, please? Piece of I cake. Could, I could to see okay, Joanna, number three. Number three also is a polite request. Uh, how you can make that question? Which bear are you have to use? Can or can you pick up the children? Can yeah, can you pick up the children? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm -hmm. Four. Four. Oh, see. Could you. Could you pick up the children, please? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Cool. Informal. Can you uh -huh. number six? Six. Oh, oh, six. 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 Six
Creo que se refiere a recoger a alguien del piso. No, pero también es, no. que, es también recoger a alguien, recoger a alguien a se puede. la escuela. Ah, okay. ah, ok. Esa es la idea que estábamos. Eh, Ajá. De hecho, de ahí, viene, de, ahí viene la, la, de ahí viene el término que le dieron a, 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 al famoso carro, pick up. Eso es. Para recoger. <risa> ya, that's it, pick up. Hasta ahora. Recoger. No. Recogedor. Exacto. O sea, por eso es que así es un pick up. Es un pick up. up. Yeah. Yeah. Es un pick up. Es un pick up. Hi. Uh, question. Uh, con las sentences, eh, solo es de convertirlas en can o could, ¿verdad? Exacto, quitándoles el Juan. Ayer expliqué ah, que el Juan es, no ajá, ajá. O sea, Y según lo que hemos visto, es, se escribe igual con lo que se pone ca, can o could. Exacto, ¿verdad? con la diferencia que generalmente a la could se le pone please porque es más polite. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, pero en realidad es casi lo mismo. Ya Ajá. dije que de hecho es lo mismo, solo que una es formal y la otra es informal. Y los signos de interro el signo de interrogación. Tío? También, es, o sea, what's the point with the question mark? ¿Cuál es el punto con los signos de interrogación? Siempre, siempre debe ir, por ejemplo, en el número 4. Sí, porque la, son una pregunta, todas son preguntas. Una, un request siempre es una pregunta que yo te estoy solicitando que hagas algo. ¿Podrías, por ejemplo? ¿O puedes? Ajá. Okay. In the final of the sentence, we put on the, 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 the please, the, 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 the word when please. You, when we use could, it's better to say please because it's a polite request. And we can use can, it's not necessary. It's not necessary because, I mean, uh -huh, because it's, a inform, it's informal, sorry. Ah, okay. For, for, okay, I understand. Ok, the next one. Estoy diciendo que tenga para el micrófono. Ah, ok. Vanessa, number six. Sí. A polite request. Um, Make a polite request. Uh, sería... Uh, good... Could I want you to come later? Later. Y el cuando va a estar. Ah, ok. Uh, solo sería. Could you to come ever? No, quítale el tú. Later. Could you come? Ah, ¿cómo dices cómo? Could you come? Could you come? Ajá, could you come over later? Could you come? O sea que se parece I want. Sí. Oh, okay. Lo expliqué What ayer, Joanny. Over later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What were you doing yesterday, Joanna? <laughs> <laughs> ah, pero de ahí estaba fácil. I like. I like cool. Exacto, no eh, pero es lo mismo. Aquí es lo mismo, solo que, solo que es o can o could. Y cuando usamos could, le ponemos please en medio o al final. Porque es una pregunta más formal, es, un, es una petición más formal. Y la otra es una petición más informal. Esa es la diferencia. Pero es lo mismo could y can. De hecho, por ejemplo, creo que hay dos que se hacen lo mismo. Por ejemplo, la 4 y la 5 son iguales, Joana. En la 4 dice, Could you pick up the children, please? Por ejemplo, en la 4, que es una formal. Podrías, por favor, cuando usted se lleva bien con la pareja, usted le dice, así de aquellas parejas que se tratan de usted Darling. y que tal cosa. O sea, usted le dice, podrías, amoncito, Darling. por favor, pasar a recoger a los niños. Pero cuando ya las parejas no se llevan tan bien y ya tienen que eso así como que... Exacto, gracias. ¿Quién fue la de eso? ¿Qué? Yo. Exacto, Joana. Pues eso, así ya cuando... Hay, hey, can you pick up the children? Ok, puedes recoger a los bichitos, ¿ah? Huh? Algo, something like that. That's it, Joana. Ok, now you got it. Hoy sí ya lo entendió. 
Sí. Ok, very good. <laughs> Bueno, ¿Tres viernes de qué? ¿Three Fridays of what? Jorge. Ah, que se me activó el micrófono, nada que ver con esta clase y se escuchó bien feo, teacher. Ah, ah. recordemos eso. Ah. Yo ya lo olvidé. Tan chulo, Jorge. No supe qué decir ya peleando con unos que hayan botado unos árboles allá de tanto cuidarlos. Ay, no. no. Don't worry, Jorge, don't worry, we forget it. No, pero en la última clase se los digo, no van a pensar que es con ellos. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. how, how, how do you go with the questions? ¿Cómo van con las preguntas? Ready? Finish. Excellent. ¿Y por qué no se están preguntando entre ustedes al menos? Para que no las contesten. Para practicar orally. Orally. Estando leyendas. <laughs> Legends. Okay. 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 Abajo dice, crea tu propio, tus propias peticiones con quién dice. Esa parte no la vieron. Ah, ah, no. ah vaya, pues esa no la vieron, ¿verdad? Ahí dice. Y solo eso dice. <risa> pues sí. ¿eh? Oh my God. Ok. Puede observar que diga eh, informal request es donde usted colocaría o formularía la, la, la pregunta con el can y viceversa con el, form, con el polite request. En el polite request usted utilizaría el could más la estructura que ya, ya estamos discutiendo. ¿verdad? Exacto, ah, así es bien. Diana. De hecho, la 4 y la 5 proveen la información esa. Yo decía que es como cuando las parejas se tratan así bonito de usted, mire, amorcito, en la 4, en la 4, en la 5 es, en la, en la 5, eh, en la 5 es un polite request cuando las parejas se tratan bonito y le dice, amorcito, ¿podrías ir a recoger los niños, por favor? Could you, uh, could you go to pick up uh -huh. the children? Ok, o could you pick up the children? Please, okay. amorcito, por favor, puedes ir a recoger a los niños. Ya cuando las parejas están mal y así como que, puedes ir a recoger a los bichos, vos. Can you, go, can, you pick, can you pick up the children? So that's the difference, ok? O sea, que okay. una es, como le está explicando Ever, fairly, que una es así como bien suavecito, mire, podría hacer esto, por favor. Uh -huh. Y en la otra es, hey, puedes hacer esto, vos, hacelo. Something like that. Ok, entiendo, gracias. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Pass me the sound. Teacher. Hi. Flor, Flor, want to know why you have to, have to skip the preposition is two, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué tenemos que...? Ah, muy bien, Flor, buena pregunta. Se la explico, Flor. When we made it. Uh -huh. Porque el one generalmente se usa con el tú, a veces. Ah, entonces por eso desaparece el one y el tú. Exacto. Ah. Porque, okay. o sea, I want you to... Yo quiero que tú prestes, yo quiero que tú hagas I want you to, por eso es... Y ya cuando lo usamos, se recuerda que la estructura dice, por ejemplo, que el verbo se pone en su forma base, pero sin tú. Con todos los modales desaparece el, 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 la preposición. Lo que pasa es que el tú para un verbo es, es de infinitivo. Ajá. Esa es la forma infinitiva, lo que nosotros conocemos en español como ar, er, ir. Todos los verbos que terminan en ar, to love es amar, to, I mean, to pay es pagar. Entonces, pero con los modales, eso desaparece. That disappear. Fátima. Hi, teacher. You know that you are the chosen one for today? Uh -huh. Really? I did, I know. <laughs> you know. But I know. So, now. but you know now, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. We go for the attendance. And after we answer the questions okay okay 
Let me see the attendance. Merica Garcia. Bernardo Aquino. No. Diana Martínez. Diana Martínez. Present teacher. Ok. Ever Candray. Present. Fátima Portillo. Present. Flor Turcios. Present teacher. Yanira Arevalo. Jorge Argueta. Present teacher. Mauricio Majano. Present teacher. Nuria Vargas. Abraham Rivera, Rocío Martínez, Joana Alvarado, Present Teacher, Vanessa Quinteros, Present Teacher, Ricardo Escobar, Present Teacher, Sara Jiménez, Present Teacher, Saúl Beltrán, Present Teacher. Gutiérrez, Nancy Erazo, Claribel Rosales. Present. Good. Okay. Everybody, everybody, come to find no. Everybody on the page, please. Okay. And please, as soon as possible. Okay. Sara, first one. La pregunta. Oh my God, he moves. Um, can you hear me more money? <laughs> Leila, esa no está en la página. Ah, sí, perdón. Por eso no, y además no, I don't have, I don't have money, ok? Ok, Number teacher, one. Sería, can you, can you have some coffee? ¿Cómo? Could you? Uh -huh. Could you have some coffee? Could some I, coffee? en ese caso, sería más para usted. Okay. Could I have some coffee, please? Podría okay. tomarme un café o podría regalarme un café? Es como eso se refiere. Ok, yeah. could I have some coffee, please? Okay. Jorge, number two. Um, ok. Could you... Ajá. Uh -huh. um, could you sit um, here, please? Exacto. Uh -huh. Could you sit here, please? Very good. Thank you. Ever. Number three. Number three. Could I stay with you, please? Yes. Flor. <laughs> The last breath. Uh, four. Sería, I, can, can you pick up the children? Exactly. Can you pick up the children? Así como que está enojada. Very good, Flor. Fátima. <coughs> could, could you pick up the children, please? Ah, perfecto. Hasta el tono. Muy bien, Fátima. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Claribel. Um, Number six. Six. Could you come over later, please? Exactly. Joanna. Number seven. Boy teacher, ahorita. Number six. Dele. <laughs> Is uh, could could you come over later? <laughs> well, good. Could you come over later? Diana, number seven. Can you uh, seven? Can you, can, 
Can you give me a hand? Exactly. Can you give me a hand? Very good. Saul Beltran, number eight. Okay. Uh, I can I can do use your pen. Come on. I I can. I can choose your pain. Ah, uh, está en la 10. Yes. Yeah, uh, what I said, 8, Mr. Beltran. Number 8. Ah, uh, number 8. Yeah. Perdón, perdón. I, I can do to come over later. Uh, number 6, me no, dijo. <laughs> number 8. Mr. Beltrán, you are sleeping also. Ah, es que no, no expandí. Aquí no veo los numeritos. Sí. Ok. Ok. Uh, informal. Yeah. Why can't you to pass, to pass me the sal? The sal. Vaya, pero el I va después. Ah, ok. Recuérdense que la estructura para hacer request es primero el modal y luego el sujeto. Okay. Ah, uh, can you pass me the salt? Puedes pasarme la sal, así como cuando está comiendo enojado. Puedes pasarme la sal. That's it. Okay. Okay. Salvador. Um, Number nine. Can you, can you come over later? Yeah. Can you come over later? Vanessa. Yes, it's... Number ten. Hey, can you do you, can you uh -huh. use your pen? Can I, can I use your pen? Can, yes. I? can I, exactly, can I use your pen? ¿Puedo usar tu lapicero? Can I use your pen? Cuando es I want you, es que yo quiero que tú. Entonces la oración pasa a ser could you mm -hmm. or can you? Pero cuando yo quiero hacer algo es can I? Can I use your pen? Mm, teacher, ¿y can you use your pen? Está mal entonces. Es que lo que pasa es que pregunto, el, o, sea, no es, o sea, la estructura no está mal. Can ah, you, okay. pero, pero va, espérese, repítala otra vez porque si sí hay algo que no le veo. Can you use Ajá. your pen? ¿Puedes tú usar tu lapicero? Suena no sé qué, ah, monótono. Okay. ¿no? Can I? Porque, uh -huh. Exacto, porque es como puedes uh -huh. usar tú tu lapicero. Si es tu lapicero, lo puedes usar. That is no problem. Por eso uh -huh. es que you use your pen, ¿no? Por eso es que okay. I use your pen. Es diferente. Puedo usar yo tu lapicero. That's okay. Different. Okay. Está bien. Thank you. Mr. Majano, como ahí abajo, nadie vio que había que crear sus propios requests using Ken. Nadie los creó. Mr. Majano, ¿usted creó alguno, Mr. Majano? Eh, no, teacher. Ok, no worry. Hágame entonces la número cuatro. Number four. Number four. Yeah. Informal request. Yeah. Eh, can you to pick, no, can you to pick up the chil, children? Children. Solo una cosa. I mean, we delete two. Flor pregunta, ¿o ¿por qué yo tengo que usar tú? Porque cuando yo uso I want, generalmente así es la estructura del verbo. I want you to. Yo quiero que tú hagas algo. I want you to pick up the children. Pero cuando ya lo uso con modales, el tú desaparece. Entonces, Mauricio, la oración sería, can you pick up? Ah, ok, teacher. Ok. Sí. Ajá, desaparece el tú, ¿verdad? Exacto, que el tú es para hacer los verbos en en infinitivo ah, okay. algunas veces es como en el este es este tú es el mismo que el have to se recuerdan el have to tienes que I have to o yo tengo uh -huh. que entonces aquí es lo mismo yo quiero que I want you to yo quiero que tú hagas algo pero cuando ya le pongo el modal desaparece el tú uh -huh. ok guys so okay. See you tomorrow. That is going to be our last class. Okay. Sleep very well. Do your exercises. Hoy les puse un mensaje personalizado no, no, no. a aquellos que no hayan hecho algunas cosas. No voy a mencionar nombres. Nunca lo hago. Usted sabe si es o no es. 
is you tomorrow, guys, be prepared, please. Don't miss the class because tomorrow we have to do the skinsa for sorbi, and that is an, a requirement for you to pass the course, okay? Bye, teacher. Bye. Thank you, nice teacher. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Bye. Sleep. Good the night, one teacher. who are sleeping. Hi, <laughs> Flores. <laughs> 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 Thank you, teacher. Thank <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Have a nice night, everybody. Bye, teacher. Bye. And no, you cannot go, Fatima, okay? Good night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Fatima. Do you have any question, Fatima? No, I don't see your mic. I see you as you're up moving your mouth. You don't have up in your mic. Sorry. <laughs> don't worry. You don't have any question, Fatima? Is everything no, clear? So then start to ask me whatever you want. You have 10 minutes to speak English freely, okay? Okay, pues está fallando la señal. Se corta. Really? Yes. Esta es una señal divina, quizá. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, no, Fatima, but I have okay. to stay here till <laughs> no, 10, no. 10, okay? That is, a, no, I want. that is mandatory. No, I want. I like, I like, okay. I like. Okay. No sé, teacher, mejor pregunta. I think it's better that you ask me. I mean, I don't know if you have any topic, I mean, that you want to discuss. What about maybe you can this tell topic me about are your, 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 your job? What? These topics are more friendly, that uh, are more friendly for me, this topic. Which one? Kind of, the, uh, one? the use of for the, the request, the use, the, the, ah, the words okay. that we use. They are, they are friendly for you. Yeah, I think so yes, that they are okay. very easy. Just you have to learn to use models. But tell me what about, so then uh, tell me what about your job? I mean, what are your main duties? Uh, I mean, uh, how oh, do uh, you are a boss or you have personnel uh, under you? Maybe we can say. No, I am an assistant. We are uh, a team. We really? We are six member in the team okay and we i use i use this this is uh, this their request with format with the in the formal way most of the time really why it is common to use the, the this structure the formal request in in my job Ah, really? When I send mail, this is the way that I you that I to write to the mail. You have to, to send customer. mails in English, okay? Uh, only in English most of the time, oh, because really? all suppliers are from Asia, ah, okay. uh, and the the ones that are that are from Central America, we we also have to write in English because we have to CC in the mail uh, or. Um, the Korean people. Ah, uh, it means and that instead of be... also, uh, instead, uh, I mean, I understand. Also, it means that uh, I I know. So you have a Central America mm -hmm. provider or supplier, but also you have to write 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 them or the write them in English because company. you have to uh, uh, you have to attach a copy to the Korean people, and yeah. obviously it has to be in English. Ah. Yes, mm -hmm. because the Korean people only speak English. It's checking. They are checking what what do you write? What are you asking for? Ah, Están okay. contándonos las costillas in another word. <laughs> yeah, in another word, in Spanish words, they are count. They are accounting or they are counting your ribs. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's why. So, mm -hmm. how do you feel hey. then about this course? Do you feel that it has it has been useful for you? Yes. This topic is very useful. 
for me in the uh, job. Really. So mm -hmm. what about That's the vocabulary that you have learned, I mean? Uh, in the, in the vocabulary, vocabulary that we study today, for example, in the, the characteristic of the printer, I was familiar with most of the uh, with the most words. of the vocabulary. Is that most mm -hmm. of the ah, okay. Yeah. So um, I think I have more difficulties to um, to to follow the correct structure when we study the the verb and the I think the present continuous, the present. Simple progressive, present. Progressive. Yeah. Present uh, progressive or present continuous. Yes, that was a little confused, but I think it, I have to, to practice. Yeah, but I mean, the structure is always the same in English. In English, is, uh, I mean, you have uh, the subject and after you have the verb. In this case, there is present progressive. Uh, and after you have the, the Oh, sorry, the subject, the verb to be, the verb plus ing and the complement. As by example, I am speaking English, you are speaking English, you are studying mm -hmm. English, okay? And if I ask you, are you studying English, Fatima? Say, yes, I am, no, I'm not. Do you, I mean, after, am I speaking English? Yes, I am, okay? The mm -hmm. structure is always the same, Fatima. The same. Yeah. There is a way how to use uh, how to, the, how the to construct maybe no maybe the the point even for me is to distinguish when do we have to use present progressive for future actions as by example and mm -hmm. a present progressive maybe for the other ones that is uh future actions and ongoing activities and i don't remember what is the other i don't remember which is the other but the point is because even for me at the present progressive is for ongoing activities, okay? When you say, I am speaking, I am drinking water, that's the way. But when we have to use in another uh, thing like a future events, I mean, that is a, when you have, you are a little bit confused maybe. Um, yes, you're right. Yes. So that's why I, I think that I have to continue study the, the the material that you are ready yeah. to write for. Tomorrow I will send you, no, today I have to send you, no? Yes, mm -hmm. today I have ah, to send yeah. you the, the, the study slides, to yeah. The, to the study the for the final test, yeah. Le, mm -hmm. Thank you for remembering me because I have to send to you that the, today I'm gonna send okay. you the, the, the slides. Okay. I have to send <clears throat> the 10 slides, I mean, that's why, because you need to study, and I think so that you are going to see, I mean, uh, maybe uh, when you study the slides, uh, maybe you are going <clears> to, <throat> you are going to cover some, uh, some doubts that you have about. Yes, thank you. I will study. Yeah. Any <laughs> other question? Time for any other question, maybe? Two or more questions more? After you can go to to sleep we to take care of your finish? daughter huh? <laughs> okay my daughter already uh, sleep oh yeah how many do you have you have one or one daughter just one daughter two, two daughters one daughter and one son ah, one, one, son and and one, one son. daughter ah okay mm -hmm. so but your son is also sleeping or he's going around not yet not yet, <laughs> not yet. But he's going around <laughs> <laughs> yeah ah, okay he's brushing his teeth Ah, he's brushing his teeth. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah. So we we will finish this this model tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. And that means that we will start the the other models. I think so. That the uh, mm -hmm. I mean that is, that is a tentative date. It was for July twenty ninth. Okay. That's the uh, that's the. We will have I mean, vacation only one one week. Yeah, I think no more than one week, maybe one week and one week and a half, maybe that is gonna okay. be kind of good. I mean, I sleep at eight o'clock. Oh, you can uh, you can go to sleep at eight o'clock. I think so, but mm -hmm. maybe you are gonna rest a little bit more. <laughs> yes. Not. Mm, not. I don't know how to say. 
No necesariamente. No, ne no necessary. I'm no gonna, necessarily. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to sleep at 10 o'clock, but I have, <laughs> I can, I, I, I will have the opportunity to do another thing that, yeah, that I, I can know. do. You in, will have more time. I mean, I mean, I know. I mean, even you can watch a TV series or <laughs> something. Movie. I mean, yeah, or a movie with your sons. I mean, that. Yeah, I know we have time. Yeah, I, I know that it's very hard to be on this schedule, uh, even for yeah. me, because uh, in my case, I have to be converting the videos and I have to upload the videos. But maybe, I mean, that is the schedule that we have. And I think so that is a kind of better because earlier could be hard for some of you have, uh, to be here. Because I had up at eight o'clock, I think so that everybody has to be at home, supposedly. You have you have to work. Yeah, this is my second work. Yeah. What time do you start to work in the first? Uh, at seven. And you finish? Eight? No, I mean five o'clock. Sorry, five o'clock. And after I come home, maybe for about five and a half and six, and I stay. After I have dinner and after and after I have to to be preparing for this class and after I finish this class as today uh, like today I have to send to you the slides and after I have to be that the video has to be conversed I mean that's a, that's why I also believe it or not I need vacation I mean this little days because I have to yes. be here like I am sleeping yesterday I was sick believe it or not since nine o'clock I was with a body ache tenía un dolor de cuerpo really? fatal yeah but i have to be like oh okay okay no you know <laughs> <laughs> that's okay i like what i do Está very similar. Good for you. <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah i'm the teacher and i have to be here every single day because that's my uh -huh. responsibility and as i told you i like what i do me gusta lo que sí. hago i learn to do it so that's why si mañana me ve así como que no muy de ánimo es porque me voy a poner mañana la segunda dosis de la vacuna. Okay, so don't worry. So, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. know yeah, how my, wife, to, my wife okay. suffers with a second vaccine. I, 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 I heard that many people suffer eh, with the second second dosis. Yeah, yeah the, the first, first one doesn't. They didn't feel anything. Uh -huh, but in the but second, with the second dose, did. yeah. Uh -huh. uh, well, as my example, my wife, my wife suffered. My wife oh, yeah. suffered. Yeah. yeah. Did you she, already did you already take the two? In my case, yes. In the case of my wife, also, yeah, we have the two the two doses. Ah, okay. So. Okay. Perfect. So, bye, Fatima. Have a nice night. Bye, See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank Good you for night. the time. Don't worry. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow.